All right, uh, that's uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi addressing the Indian diaspora in Abuja, Nigeria, where he has just been uh, bestowed with the highest civilian award uh, of that nation. Uh, but uh, moving back to our country and uh, to the unfortunate tragedy, not tragedy actually, a man-made accident uh, of uh, death of infants in a Jhansi civil hospital. The death toll in that uh, administration made tragedy has risen from 10 to 11 after one more infant undergoing treatment succumbed to the burn injuries uh, and the babies in the medical college of Jhansi's Niku died after a massive fire engulfed the ward last evening. Clearing lapses have come to the notice including expired fire extinguishers and absence of emergency exits among other things apart from the fact that uh, the neonatal unit was uh, overcrowded and uh, let's uh, look at uh, the details uh, of investigation carried out by our correspondent Akil on the ground there in Jhansi. A massive fire in the neonatal intensive care unit of Maharani Lakshmi Bai College in Jhansi claimed the lives of 10 newborn babies who were charred to death. In a latest update, out of the 16 babies who were rescued, one more has succumbed, taking the Jhansi death toll to 11. The babies in the medical college's NICU died after a massive fire engulfed the ward. Glaring lapses have now come to the fore. From expired fire extinguishers to dysfunctional safety alarms. Delayed evacuation, no emergency exits. Poor quality oxygen concentrate, the murderous lapses simply cannot be brushed under the carpet. Republic has confronted the principal of Rani Lakshmi Bai College. Watch. You are the principal of this college. I am asking you a clean question. That was the expired fire. जो फाइव स्टिंगुशर्स लगे हैं वो 2019 की मैन्युफैक्चरिंग है आप दिखा दीजिए मुझे ना दिस इस व्हाट आई एम आस्किंग यू मेरे पास विजुअल्स आप सुनिए आपके पास जो विजुअल्स हैं उसको आप ज़ूम कीजिए क्यों ज़ूम क्यों नहीं कर रहे मैं दिखा रहा हूँ सर सर पहले बार हाँ दिखा रहा हूँ फिफ्टी these fire extinguishers that was that were put in place here the manufacturing date the uh, the refilling date is written over there is 2019 and the principal of this very medical college hospital is denying the fact here you can see i would like to request and we would like to flash it and we would like to ra uh, run it that if you see the, the manufacturing the refilling date of these uh, fire extinguishers this uh, 2019 and doctor in front of the camera is denying the fact that uh, when 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 this was manufactured yes you can say yes show me the order yes no there were several there were several fire extinguishers that were not working, that were not factional. Republic had earlier accessed exclusive visuals showing the real picture of the situation inside the hospital building. Republic special investigation team has also accessed exclusive visuals of ambulances used by the Jhansi hospital. And guess what? Most of these ambulances are apparently obsolete. Here you see, I, I'm going to bring for our, for our Republic viewers another startling truth, truth from this very side. Here you can see there are eight different ambulances parked over here. And these ambulances are not in functional state. Then who is going to answer? Again, when I, when I will go back and ask this question to the principal of this medical college and hospital, he will again say that I don't know. This is what his simple retort. The hospital authorities simply cannot ignore some questions. First, why was no FIR filed even after 30 hours? Second, why were the basic safety protocols flouted? Third, who is really accountable for these murderous lapses? And last but not the least, why weren't the fire extinguishers replaced? As yet another tragedy shakes the nation, all eyes remain on the course of action.